Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add plugins to a Minecraft server. Now, first and foremost, you will need a paper, spigot, or bucket Minecraft server. That's the only way that you can add plugins if you have one of those three server variants. I would personally recommend paper because paper is the most efficient and it's going to have the most wider range of plugins. So paper is the one we're going to be using in this video. We've also got a link on how to start a paper server in the description down below if you don't have one. But alternatively, you can also get a paper server with Apex Minecraft hosting in under five minutes. Thanks to Apex for sponsoring this video, you can check them out the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to get an incredible Minecraft server running paper in just a few clicks. Literally, all you do is click on the server you type you want, which would be paper 1.16.1 in this case, and then you're done. It's that simple. As far as adding plugins to Apex, it's also very simple. Just click on FTP on the right hand side, log on into the FTP, click on the plugins folder, and add any plugins you want directly into that plugins folder on Apex. They also have 24 by 7 support. I just went through that very fast, so if you need help with it, Apex has that 24 by 7 support to help you out and help you get plugins on your paper server once it's set up. We love Apex so much that we put our money where our mouth is and host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com, on Apex Minecraft hosting. So again, you can check out Apex the first link down below at the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and add some plugins to your server. Now, in the description down below, we have this. This is our list of plugins. Actually, all of these are updated to 1.16.1. However, we've not updated the video just yet for this article, so I'll be doing that very, very soon. However, all of the plugins down here in the article are, in fact, up to date, so no worries about that. So if you go to the article in the description down below, come here and then scroll down, you'll be able to find all sorts of awesome plugins from Essentials, which is pretty essential for Minecraft servers, to World Edit, World Guard, all of that. There are tons of awesome Minecraft plugins listed here. In this video, we're actually going to download World Edit, so you can click on the dev right here. There's a link right here to go do that. And then we're going to download World Guard. And as well, we'll might as well download like MCMMO. So let's go ahead and do that. Now MCMMO is a paid plugin, right? We have purchased that plugin, so we can use it here, but no worries about that. If you go here and you can't see this, it's because you need to log into a Spigot account and then purchase the plugin. But nevertheless, once you're here, click on download now on Spigot. So it'll download right like so. Now for World Edit, it's a bit different. This is hosted on Bucket. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on File right here. And then under here, you'll see World Edit right here, beta, and then you'll see 1.16. So make sure that the version is in fact for 1.16 here before you click download or download anything. So you can see 1.16, you might have to hover to see it, but there it is, and then we can click download file there. It'll then download in the bottom left. Now we will need to keep both of these files. They're 100% safe to keep them, MCMMO and World Edit. Almost there, five bucks, it'll pop up in the center of your screen. And then we do have World Guard as well. World Guard, we're gonna go ahead and click right here, stable download builds for bucket. That on the take us here, where we again want to make sure that it says 1.16. As you can see, 1.16 over here on the left hand side. So we can click on that gray download button and it'll download in the bottom left where we'll keep it. Once we've got our files downloaded, if I minimize our browser here on the desktop, I have World Guard, World Edit, and MC MMO. Very awesome plugins. World Edit allowing you to edit worlds very fast and awesomely and quickly and all that stuff. World Guard allows you to protect worlds, like protect your spawn, protect different areas of your world, things like that. And then MCMMO basically adds RPG elements, like woodcutting skills and sword skills and mining skills and all that stuff to Minecraft. Awesome, three incredible plugins. Pretty much every server has World Edit and World Guard. Many of them have MCMMO. Nevertheless, once you've got these here, if they're on your desktop, automatically they're going to be in your downloads folder. And to find them, click on the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen and bottom left of your screen. But click on that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen and then type in downloads. And then have this downloads file folder like so. Go ahead and open that. And then in here you'll find MCMMO, World Guard, and World Edit. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and open up our server directory. You should already have your paper server set up, right? You can do that via the link in the description down below. So go down there, set up your paper Minecraft server if you don't have one already. Pause this video and go do that and then come back. And then once you've got your paper server set up, go ahead and open it up, right? Open up this server directory, which is paper 1.6.1 server or whatever your server directory file folder name there is. And you'll see all of these different folders and files here. Now you should have a plugins folder. If you don't, you don't have a paper server. So go set up a paper server and come back. And then go ahead and open up that plugins folder and now take MCMMO, World Guard, World Edit, or guess what? Any plugin you want to install. Any plugin, as long as it's 1.16 compatible, can be dragged and dropped into this plugin folder and it will work. It's that simple. Drag and drop any plugins you want into your plugins folder and you're done. That quick and that easy. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and double click on that run.bat file there to get our server started up. And we'll actually be able to see the plugins kind of activating here as they go through. So let stuff load up. Da -da -da. We're basically waiting. Did you see world edit? There it is. And then we'll also see stuff for world guard and MCMMO if we can catch it. It's 
very, very fast. There was enabling MCMMO right there, and then you can see, as you can see, World Guard is mentioned there. So awesome stuff, and MCMMO is enabled. And then you can see done here. That means the server is set up. Now, or the server is working, and the plugins are there as well. Now, if we go ahead and click on the plugins folder here, we'll be able to see MCMMO, World Edit, and World Guard. This is where you can find all of your configuration files for any plugin you want, directly here in these folders at the top of the plugins folder, right? So as you can see, if you want to change something in World Guard config, you would do it there. If you want to change something in the World Edit config, you'd do it there. MCMMO, guess what? You would do it in the config right there. Or any of the other stuff, like the upgrades and how the you know ranks work in MCMO, it can all be changed right here. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and join into the server and I'll prove to you that in fact these plugins are working. Now you might need to opt yourself to get full permission of usage of the plugins on your server and to do that just type OP over here and then type in your username in the console and make yourself an operator. I just did that. But if you do want to check your plugins are installed from the console you can just do slash PL and then you'll see it'll return the plugins in here. Not slash by the way. Just type PL on your console. We can see we have MCMMO, World Edit, and World Guard. They're all green because they're working. If there's a plugin that's red it's not working. It didn't enable correctly and it's not going to be working on your server. So yeah here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We go ahead and click on multiplayer. Is that the best Minecraft server in the multiverse? Play.breakdowncraft.com. Yes, it is. We have incredible grief protected survival, medieval survival with 30 custom quests and a player based economy, and aquatic survival with an awesome slash shop based economy. We've also got custom skyblock with OP enchantments, truly custom islands, finch generators. It's incredible. And then factions just got a new season launched. It's amazing as well with custom enchantments, small team factions, 10 players in a faction, and that's it. So make sure you only get the best players in your faction. F top, it's incredible. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now we're going to go ahead though and direct connect into this server that is locally hosted. So 192.168.1.3. That's just my local IP address. And we'll see me join in over here. Next Games has joined in. Now, once we're in game, we can run that slash PL command again, right? So we can do slash PL. We'll be able to see there are all the plugins that we installed. And if you hover over them, it gives descriptions and versions and things like that, depending on the plugin. MCMO gives a description. World Guard doesn't give a description, but they do give you their version. Now, once you've got that, we can also do some, you know, different things with these plugins. So we do game mode creative real quick. We can do things like slash wand or slash slash wand. That's going to give us a world edit wand. Then we can select here and then come all the way over to here because why not? And then do our little right click and select position two. And then we can do slash slash set diamond block. And this is gonna make this huge diamond block area here. But that doesn't look good, so we can do slash slash undo and it will undo everything it just did and make it look good. But let's say we do wanna make like all of this right here, like sand, turn into grass. So we can come over here, set that, and then we'll do slash slash POS2. So we selected that and then you can do slash, well you used to be able to. Is that not something that's came over to world edit yet? Slash POS2 there. And then we can do slash slash replace and then sand and then grass block. Right, so grass block. Boom. And as you can see that all changed to grass very, very quickly. This is what it looked like before and this is what it looked like after. Awesome stuff there. But that's not the only plugin we have. We also have World Guards. So we're gonna take this region of grass here and we're gonna do slash slash or slash region. And then we can do, I think, is it region create spawn? Uh, yes, there we go. So this region is now protected. You now created a region named spawn and you can do region flag. So we could do slash region flag. I think it's mob dash spawn false. So now, nope, nope, couldn't find the region flag. You can go on the World Guard Wiki and get all the flags. I just have those memorized. Give me a break on that. But nevertheless, there is that. Now, what about MCMMO? Well, if we do slash mining, we'll be able to see our mining skill here. And let's go ahead and go back into this time. Well, let me grab some tools real quick because that'll make it faster. But if we go ahead and grab, let's say, a diamond shovel, diamond pickaxe, diamond axe, and then go slash game mode survival, we'll be able to dig these up and see right there at the top we are learning a new skill. And then once we have dug up enough dirt here, it will go ahead and give us level one excavator. Boom. There we go. Level one excavator right like so. Now where I did this grass, it's actually going to be a while before we find stone. So now we found stone and we can go ahead and start mining this. And up here at the top, you'll see learning a new skill, learning a new skill, and then eventually it will go level one mining. So pretty cool stuff, right? Like so, obviously iron is going to give more XP. As you can see, we're already level two because mining gives, or iron gives much more mining XP than stone. Boom, boom. There we go. Like, just right like that. We are level nine mining. Boom. You can see it increasing in the chat there. Now if we do slash mining, right, we'll be able to see 
There's all of our skills. We're level nine, how much XP we have, how much XP we need for the next level, all of the different stuff and all the different perks you can unlock. As you can see, double drops is one of them, all that stuff. Um, time set day. And then last but not least within CMMO, we'll cut down some trees just because why not get some wood cutting XP while we're here. So we can go ahead and do that. Wood cutting being yet another MCMMO skill. And this is a very, very powerful plugin that I would recommend. Like truly no sponsorship, anything like that. We use it on all of our servers on Breakdown Craft. And we love MCMMO. So that's why I wanted to kind of include them in this video if I had the chance. But nevertheless, there you all have it. I don't think there's any denying that these plugins have in fact been added. If you want some incredible plugins, 10 incredible plugins to be exact, you can check out our awesome article on the breakdown.xyz linked in the description down below. That's where all these plugins were downloaded from. But nevertheless, thank you also so much for watching. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.